Today we're going to talk about our new system design tool and using it to design multi-site surveillance systems. So in this presentation, we're going to talk about using our system design tool to design multi-site surveillance systems. And uh, as an example of a multi-site surveillance system, we're going to use our Integra VPN. So for anyone that hasn't been on our previous webinars on the Integra VPN or the system design tool, uh, we'll go through a little bit of detail on those um, so that way everybody understands what's going on. So multi-site surveillance systems are uh, not an unusual application in the security and surveillance world. Um, you'll find them in a range of industries from retail to uh, banking, shopping, residential, commercial, police, cities. Um, there's all kinds of applications out there where you've got <clears throat> distributed surveillance systems uh, at a variety of sites that may or may not be geographically dispersed. So you might have some that are close together, like a university campus may have a handful of sites, um, you know, kind of clustered in one place, or you might have um, a retail application where you've got a central office in one place and you've got, uh, you know, branch locations or stores all over the world. So a well-designed multi-site surveillance system uh, should deliver a, a few uh, critical requirements. Um, first and foremost, secure remote access. So if you have a uh, central command center, monitoring center, control room, something like that, where you've got uh, active operators monitoring the systems, they need to be able to securely access the systems remotely from that central uh, control room. But you also may need to have remote access for uh, systems integrator partners that want to centrally manage the systems, um, you know, or push a, a change out to systems at a variety of sites or, or uh, things like that. Um, with secure remote access, um, you know, you then use that to provide centralized command and control, real-time alerts, uh, quick response, and uh, intelligent security analytics across all of the sites. So if you've got secure remote access to and from all of your sites, um, even if you have uh, an analytic solution that's server-based and centralized, you want to be able to make sure that uh, you can run your analytics against all of your remote sites as well. So using Integra VPN as an example, um, so to step back a little bit and give some background, um, Integra is an all-in-one surveillance solution that Indigo Vision released uh, within the last year, year and a half, um, and it's designed for small and medium installations where you want one appliance to do uh, everything for you as far as surveillance goes. So you get an Integra, it's got Control Center, the NVR, license server, all of that built in and installed. Um, it's also got a PoE switch, so uh, on the 8-channel variant, it has an 8-port switch and uh, goes up to 16 and 24, um, as well as uh, redundant hard drives on the uh, larger units, so the smaller unit, uh, you can see up top, that's the little 8-channel desktop unit, um, but then you've got a uh, 1U rack mount 16 or 24-channel unit that has 4-drive uh, RAID 5. Um, so those are nice little appliances where everything kind of comes all in one box and you can also use them as your workstation so you don't need a separate pc you can just plug a monitor uh, with hdmi into the back of the box and you're up and running so uh, with integra um, we developed a uh, what, what we've called uh, indigo vision vpn or vpn for integra um, as a secure remote access solution for integra so uh, OpenVPN is a uh, open source standard VPN um, system that is very, very widely used and uh, well adopted um, worldwide, really, throughout the uh, IT community. Um, so we've chosen that as our preferred VPN solution and built uh, a package that installs that and configures it for use with Integra. So this makes it possible for installers um, to deploy a, a secure control center system with remote access uh, over the internet, um, really with minimal uh, networking knowledge. So uh, what is a VPN and how does it work for anyone that uh, isn't familiar with the term? Um, VPNs have been around for a while and they are used uh, very, very often, especially in large distributed environments, but not only for video and surveillance, but any kind of uh, data communications or voice communications over the internet, public phone networks. Um, and essentially, in a nutshell, what a VPN does is it takes the uh, traffic coming from one computer or one network 
um, it wraps it up or encapsulates it uh, and oftentimes encrypts it. Um, so that way, if it's intercepted in the middle, it can't be decrypted without a key. Uh, and then it, it essentially tunnels that information across the internet to the endpoint where it's intended to go, um, at which point that person would have the key and be able to decrypt the information uh, and uh, get access to the data that they need access to. Um, so not only are VPNs used for security, but they also allow people at remote sites to have access to IT resources like printers or phones um, or you know other IT systems uh, as if they're in the same building or the same room or the same network. So um, VPNs are a uh, common solution for secure remote access for a variety of IT applications, uh, surveillance included. And nowadays, um, with privacy concerns becoming uh, bigger around the world, um, people are starting to use VPN services personally, um, either while they're traveling or maybe even at home to secure their internet traffic from, uh, you know, some, some people are worried about the government looking at their traffic or uh, hackers um, intercepting their traffic after it leaves their network at home. Uh, and it secures the traffic from end to end um, so that way it can't be sniffed and, and decrypted. So, VPN for Integra uses VPN technology to provide secure remote access uh, between Integra sites and then to a uh, central location. So in this diagram here, we have three Integras. So we've got three sites. Each site has its uh, little Integra box and then a LAN with some cameras connected to it. Um, so we've got three of those. And then each site is going to have its router or firewall uh, connected to the internet. And then uh, on the other side, we might have a central office or command center that has an Integra View workstation, um, which in this case would also host the uh, Integra VPN server. Uh, and that workstation would allow the operators to view the Integras at any of these remote sites securely, uh, and the VPN would encrypt that traffic end to end. So for anyone that hasn't seen the webinar on the system design tool, here it is. This is a uh, screenshot of the system design tool populated with um, some cameras and NVRs, licenses, cyber vigilant. Uh, and then you can see the camera properties window on the side that shows the camera resolution, frame rate, motion. Uh, and then it's also got the little lens calculator down there on the bottom right. So I won't spend too much time talking about that, but this is a nice screenshot for anyone that hasn't seen it yet. Um, and if you haven't used it, uh, I highly encourage you to go to the partner portal. Anyone with access to the Indigo Vision partner portal can log in uh, and play around with the tool. So um, benefits uh, of using the system design tool to generate quotes for multi-site surveillance systems. Um, it's going to save you a lot of time. Really, that's what it comes down to. So the system design tool combines a whole bunch of tools that you might have used separately before, like the lens calculators, power calculators, storage calculators, bandwidth calculators, uh, and then the price list and the catalog, um, and putting all of that together and coming up with a validated quote. This allows you to do all of that quickly in one place uh, without having to interact with, uh, with a sales manager to get a validated quote. So whatever your um, authorized discount is, you'll be able to generate a quote yourself instantly with approval um, that you can use for, uh, for a project. So uh, designing a system in the system design tool, um, as a quick recap, there's essentially three overall steps. Uh, first one is selecting your system design type, and there's two types. There's a standard quote and a uh, quick quote. And with a standard quote, that's a fully validated quote. So the system design tool is actually going to use validation to make sure that you've got the right mount selected for a given camera, that you've got uh, an NVR that you're not overloading and putting too much, uh, too many cameras, or um, you know, trying to record for a, a retention period that you're not going to get. Um, versus a quick quote, which doesn't do any validation. So that's nice for just putting a quick list of parts together if you're trying to order a few mounts and PoE injectors or something like that. Um, so once you select the type, you select your products, and then you generate your quote. Very simple. So accessing the tool, again, it's on the partner portal. So you're going to go to indigovision.com, and you're going to log in with your credentials once you hit support at the top right. And then once you're logged in, you're going to go to tools, and then the system design tool icon. So I will now do a demo, uh, and I'll walk you through that process. So let's bring up Chrome. And we're on the Indigo Vision website. I will go to support. Right, I'm going to log in with my credentials. 
And once I'm in the partner portal, it's going to bring me to the landing page with the contact information for all of our technical support teams. Um, I'm going to go up here to the top and go to System Design Tool. It's going to ask me if I want to do a standard or quick quote. So to demonstrate a multi-site design, um, I'm definitely going to want to go with a standard quote with those validations. And now that that's been applied, we can start our design. So we'll go with something based on that diagram that we just looked at. Um, so let's first add an Integra. Right? And by default, it's going to add an Integra 16 with 12 terabytes. Um, so over here, we've got a desired 30 days of retention. Um, so now let's add some cameras to that. So I'm going to click Add Camera. And then it's going to add, by default, a BX420 mini dome, um, 1080p, 25 frames a second, with very high motion. Uh, so let's say we want to put 10 of those cameras on there. Um, so now I'm going to get an error message telling me that I have uh, either too many cameras or my bitrate's too high because I'm only getting nine days of retention on that Integra. So I can try to use a bigger Integra. So I can click on the Integra and then come over here uh, and I can go with a 24 terabyte Integra, but I still only get 18 days uh, of storage. Um, so let's go back to the camera set. Now the easiest thing to do here to make the numbers work would certainly be just to drop the motion type, but you might not have control uh, over the motion type in your scene. It might be a highway or a, a parking lot or a hallway that has 24-hour uh, traffic. Um, so we could drop the resolution or uh, more commonly we would just drop the frame rate down. So let's put it down maybe to 15 frames per second. Now we've got 31 days, so we're good. So we've got 10 cameras, we've got our Integra in VR. Um, it's already licensed and ready to go. Um, so now let's maybe add some accessories to those cameras. So we'll hit Manage Accessories, come down here to Add Accessory, and we will, uh, let's say, let's put some dark bubbles on them. So we'll get 10 of those for our 10 mini domes. Um, then let's say maybe we need some wall mounts. Let's get 10 of those. So now we've got 10 bubbles, 10 wall mounts. Um, and you'll notice that when I selected that dropdown, it only shows the uh, accessories that are relevant for the BX420 mini dome. Um, so that's part of what the validation does. It makes sure that you're not looking at, uh, you know, uh, mounts for ultra series cameras or for, for PTZ cameras in this case. It's only going to show you the applicable accessories. So I will go ahead and close this. And let's add our second site. So we'll add another Integra. So we've got an Integra 16 again. Um, let's add some cameras. And let's say at this site, um, we've got, uh, let's say we've got some bullet cameras. So maybe we'll put five of these. And then let's go add maybe some more, five more mini domes. Um, so now we're back in, the, uh, back in the same spot we were. We don't have enough retention. So let's increase the size of our Integra. And then maybe we will drop the frame rate down to 20 over here. See if that helps. Drop the frame rate down to 20 over here. Perfect. So we've got our 31 days of retention. Uh, let's say this is an indoor site, so we don't necessarily need any accessories for these. And we can always put the bullets outside. And let's do a third site. So we'll add another Integra. And maybe this is going to cover a parking lot or a, a field or an arena or somewhere where there's a really wide field of view. So we'll pick some 4K cameras. So let's bring this up to our full 4K. And uh, one of these, let's say we want four of these. OK. Drop it down maybe to 12 frames a second. But we're not expecting 24 hour traffic there, so we'll drop it down to high motion and uh, we're good with 39 days of storage. So now we have our uh, three sites with three Integras and then three camera sets with each one, um, or one camera set with each one rather. Um, now you also notice you can go to manage accessories for the Integras themselves and then you will get an appropriate accessory list. So over here, we don't have mounts anymore. Um, all we've got are monitors and a surveillance keyboard and then all of the different computer keyboards um, for the Integra for typing. Um, so let's say we want to put, uh, we don't have any PTZ cameras, but let's put maybe a couple monitors. Uh, maybe you want to have one in a manager's office or a spot monitor in a retail application. So we'll put two monitors here, click OK. 
And the last thing we're going to do um, is pick that Integra View workstation that we're going to use in our command center to centrally monitor these three sites. So we're going to come down here, hit Integra View, and come over here and select our Integra View workstation. So it's going to offer me the uh, mini or mid. And you'll also notice over here it says Integra View license band 1 to 24. So what it's done is it's taken these Integras and the camera sets associated with them, it's put them underneath the Integra View workstation so that way it can figure out which license band you need to ensure that you're properly licensed. So let's pick the mid-range workstation. There we go. Um, and that's our, uh, that's our multi-site design. So now we can come up here and we can hit the Save button. So we'll call this uh, three-site design. And so what's nice here is that you can save this design and you can come back to it. So if the customer later on adds two more sites, you can add on to the design and it can keep your calculations and everything the same. Um, or if you're working on a, a, a response to like a tender or an RFP and it's going to take you a while to put the response together because you've got to go through site by site and you've got really complex requirements and it's going to take you a few weeks to put everything together, you can keep saving it and coming back to it uh, anytime you want. So once it's saved, you can always come over here to load a previously saved design and that'll come up and give you your list of designs that you've saved previously. Um, but we're not going to do that. Um, so once I've saved it, I can then generate a system design PDF. So if I open the system design PDF, the system design PDF is going to show you um, essentially uh, a bill of materials, but with some detail showing which parts interact with which other parts. So we've got our Integra View workstation here, and it's got three connections to three different sites or three different Integras. And then we've got uh, three Integras, so uh, one for each site. And um, you can always go back and rename these. Uh, you know, by default, it's going to be storage one, storage two, storage three, but you could give them site names or NVR names or something like that. It'll also give you your, sto your total storage capacity for each one and your total bandwidth for each one. Uh, and then we'll come down here and we'll look at our camera sets and then we'll see which NVRs or Integras the camera sets are attached to. So these two camera sets, our bullets and our 420 mini domes are attached to the uh, second Integra, um, while storage one is on the first one and storage three, this camera set four is on the uh, third one. Then we'll come down here and we'll look at our accessories and this shows us the accessories that we picked and which cameras they go with. So the mounts and the bubbles went with camera set one and the monitor goes with storage one. So um, this is a, a nice tool to help you put your bill of materials together or put your proposal together or you could even uh, include this in the proposal because there's no pricing or anything um, but you do have um, part names, camera names, NVR names and you've also got part numbers and quantities. Um, also, uh, we didn't do it in this example, but if you had site maps that you um, use the lens calculator to populate the site maps and do, um, you know, uh, lens calculations, field of view calculations, and then camera placement on the maps, um, the design PDF would also include those maps. So we'll close out of here for now because we're also going to take a look at the quote. So we can hit the button to generate a quote. And what this button will do is it'll bring up uh, your discount. So uh, my discount is zero, but um, if your authorized discount is, uh, you know, let's say uh, 20%, um, it'll show 20%. And then when it generates the quote, it'll take all of the parts on the list. It will apply your authorized discount to them. Um, it'll verify your authorized discount against your account in our backend system. Um, so it takes a little bit just to um, go back and check the product catalog and make sure that it's uh, picking the right discount, the right part numbers and all that. Um, and then it'll apply your discount to your quote. So you'll get an authorized approved quote with all of these parts on it. Um, and, uh, you know, you could, you could turn around and send a PO and instantly you don't need to speak to your RSM or, um, call our order management department. Um, you could just send a PO straight in because you've already got an approved quote with a quote number. So, uh, this takes, uh, just a few seconds to complete, um, because there's a few different systems it has to communicate with. And once that's done, we can then generate the quote PDF.
And so here's our authorized quote with a price on it with our discount. Um, you've got an expiration date, you have a quote number up here, uh, and then you have all of your items from the quote that we picked with part numbers, prices, extended prices with discount, um, all the uh, uh, T's and C's. Um, so you've got a, uh, an authorized approved quote ready to go that you can turn around and send a PO in against uh, immediately. And that is the end of our presentation on using the system design tool to put together multi-site system designs.